Hello friends, this is Sangeeta Saxena, editor of Aviation and Defense Universe and I'm here at the Singapore Air Show. Till now I was doing the making of the show for Inside the Halls and I've just come out and the major attraction here which we see friends is the parking of the aircraft and the other equipment which tomorrow when the show starts to take off early in the morning we'll find all of them ready and all of them flying. So we have, you know, here all the big ones. We've got the Air Forces of the world. So we have uh, the Singapore Air Force, which of course has the most uh, vast area, understandably. And uh, you can just see, you know, so you have the biggest aircraft and you've got choppers and you've got, uh, you know, air defense equipment and you've got uh, the small aircraft. So you can see all of them. This is all Singapore. These are the hosts and understandably they have the best area. Then we've got, you know, the lattice, which is uh, general aviation. And if you see, you know, it is, uh, it also has parked a few of its aircraft at the moment. And it's a mix of civilian and uh, uh, military aircraft, as always. Uh, all air shows uh, have a good mix. Uh, Singapore this year is coming out of the COVID. Uh, you know, last time when we had come, COVID was still in. And uh, it's come. It's now coming out, and we do not have any more, uh, you know, those restrictions we had last time. And uh, so, if you see, you know, the Pilatus is here, and then I'm just walking you down. And uh, the moment I get you down, there is a L410NG, huh? and uh, well, it's a beautiful new generation uh, general aviation aircraft. And uh, you just see, it's you can see it. Yeah, you can just see it, it's here, and um, yeah, you can just see it here, yeah, and uh, we see all of them parked, uh, it's evening in Singapore, it's nearly 4 o'clock, and uh, you know, things are winding up, then we've got the Honda Jet, you know, so if you see a small uh, Honda Jet Elite here, and uh, making its mark and foray into uh, very majorly into general aviation and uh, tomorrow when they fly friends you'll see a lot of them so and uh, now i'm taking you towards uh, military aircraft so we all have all of them well packed and if you see you know they're all done and uh, it's interesting so if you find the forces have decided that okay they want their aircraft to be absolutely well packed we are next to the sea uh, unpredictable rain but very warm and uh, after coming from india which was very cold uh, especially in the nights it's just wonderful here and you know this is very very interesting we we'll all recognize them we we'll all recognize and just see we have because we have the airport behind we'll just see an aircraft flying Wonderful to be amidst these metallic birds. They're just great. They're just great to be with. And uh, we, now I'm taking you to the other side. And uh, let me just get you there. So I think uh, more or less <coughs> you'll find all of them. So we have from the Brazilian Air Force. Then uh, of course the Royal Singapore Air Force. And uh, we have Embraer. Huh? got Embraer from the Brazilians and uh, we were going, we got Airbus and uh, of course here these are all American. There's an F-35 if you see. I'll get a little nearer to you and uh, show them to you. Meanwhile I'm just giving you an overview and uh, friends this is going to be lovely to be covering all this from tomorrow and uh, they give you such a lovely feel and uh, I, I just hope that the next five days will be days full of uh, you know great understanding and uh, superb flying displays uh, very interesting static displays so let's uh, friends get over with it and uh, today the evening is coming to an end and I'm just getting you a few more uh, videos to show you what is parked here and from, from tomorrow of course we get you uh, the flying displays also thank you so much it's great to be at the Singapore Air Show 2024